in five, four, three. What's up dudes? I'm back with another video. Yes, it's that time again for us to show you what we are taking to download. And I'm sure as you can see, I'm joined by my beautiful pregnant wife, Victoria. So hello Vicky. Hi. Yes, yeah, so we're about four weeks away from download now. So we have loads of stuff to show you guys what we're taking. Um, obviously Vicky is pregnant, so we're gonna have to do things a little bit differently this year. If she actually does come at the moment, she's still planning to come, um, but we still have four weeks to go and uh, we're not sure obviously how big she's gonna get. I'm coming. Oh, gonna, okay, she's coming. Um, so yeah, don't um, force any alcohol down Vicky's throat because she won't be able to drink it. But I think she does actually have a 0, 0.00 wine. So this is not real wine, okay? Just bear that in well, mind. No, apparently it's wine that's had the alcohol re removed. Okay, I did, not, I did not know that. So cheers, I'm drinking a Heineken just because it's hot. Cheers and cheers to everyone. Four weeks to download. Let's have a swig and go through some things. We are gonna start with the big stuff first of all. Now, of course, we will be taking... Oh, Jesus Christ! A tent! Uh, we are taking a really big boy this year. This is the Rydell, Eurohike Rydell 500. Obviously, I've talked about this before. I used to have the Sendero 4, which is a great tent if you can get it, um, but we decided to, or I decided to, upgrade this year because it perished, unfortunately, last year. Um, I haven't even set this up yet in the garden, even though it's really good weather. Probably won't get around to doing that till, I don't know, a couple of weeks before download, most likely. Just due to, to loads of stuff that we're doing. But um, I'm excited about this tent. It's just a step up from the Sendero 4. But unfortunately, it is considerably larger. Like, it weighs an absolute ton How as well. Uh, I think this is a five-person five person tent, I think, for the 500. Oh, for two of us. For two of us so um yeah nice and big but as always you don't need a tent this big as long as it isn't a single skin tent and it's big enough to take you and whoever is going that's fine but just remember when it comes to tents if you're basic if it says four man that means for two people and your stuff okay you'll fit four people in it but you won't fit four people and their stuff in it so if you have a two-person tent and you have two people you're going to really really struggle to get your stuff and two people inside that tent it never takes into consideration your stuff, only the people sleeping in it. So just bear that in mind when you're getting a tent. As I said that you need to bring it, okay. Yeah, try and project it a little bit more as well. You're talking quietly again. What was I doing? Like this? Is that too loud? Just, you know, not like you're <laughs> shouting at someone. Just project like you're talking to someone, like someone's across the room. Imagine if the person's there, they're not sat next to you. You, you wanna get your point across to them by saying, oh yeah, sleeping bags, yeah, you should definitely, but you're going, they're sleeping bags. You should bring. You just your voice is too low. <laughs> I don't think I'm just designed needs to, to project. Too I'm a mumble talker. Okay. So carrying on from tents, we need to talk about sleeping bags. Um, so we always take sleeping bags, and we always take two instead of the double ones because it's better. Like the the double ones are probably nice to snuggle in, but you, they, you're not as warm. So we take the sleeping bags, um, and also you want quite a good sleeping bag. So I took a really terrible sleeping bag. I don't know, in 2019 maybe, and it was so, so cold. Because um, what we tend to do is also bring a duvet. Well, no, we, we used to bring the duvet, but you've got to carry it. So we buy it there. Yeah. If it's really cold in the evening, we'll go to like Frank's or something mm. and actually buy and one. Will, like, it will be cold in the evening. It doesn't yeah. matter how hot it is. So even um, last year when it was so, so hot in the day, it's still freezing at night, but like three in the morning, it's still gonna be super cold. So we don't take them anymore because you have to carry it around, but we go and buy them and they're only like a tenner or 15 quid or yeah. maybe 20 quid. Probably maybe a, another 25. A price you could really do without, but yeah. sometimes when we get cold, and obviously we're not in the same sleeping bag. We've got separate ones, even though they have good togs. I feel like sometimes we like the extra covers over us. Did we do that last year on the camping bed? I think we did. Yeah, we, yeah, all, we did. always had one. Yeah, we because always did. Because that first year we went together, I had a, a terrible sleeping bag and we didn't buy the duvet until the next day and I was so, mm. so cold. My that was 2019 though, that was a bad, that was a really, really okay, bad. Okay, well it was yeah. wet, yeah. Yeah. But it would still be bad. So yeah, get a good sleeping bag, don't forget to bring it. Now another thing that I mentioned in my uh, essentials video was something that I never used to bring to download, which was a pillow. Now this one is slightly different, it's not your sort of standard pillow, it's just a little camping pillow. This is the little snooze 
200 that I haven't actually used yet. Um, and it is just a really, really small little pillow that you can actually take the cover off and wash as well. So if it does get dirty, if it's particularly muddy or wet a download, you can always just dry out the um, inner cushion and actually wash this so it smells nice. But actually, I think that's quite You can quite bring soft. a, like I bring a real pillow. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this, my head, Nova's head is this small. Yeah, you can definitely bring a normal pillow. I'm just bringing this because I want to carry as or well, the least amount of stuff as possible this year because Vicky won't be carrying a lot. I don't want to load myself up like a donkey and be carrying everything. So I feel like this is a good um, middle ground from being a regular pillow, but a regular pillow is fine as well. But also you used to sleep on like a rolled up pair of socks. Yes. So it's yeah, better I've, than that. I've slept literally, I used to use my bag to sleep on. I used to do loads of crazy stuff that I would definitely never do anymore. So yes, a pillow, definitely essential. So another thing that you'll need is a bag. So um, we are bringing these ones. Uh, it's actually really important. So the first few festivals that I went to, I just borrowed like people's bags. I think actually, I've never taken a suitcase. Sometimes people, you see them with suitcases. I've done that before. I've made that huge mistake. And if it's all you've got, like take it. But in the, if it is rainy, like, and it's muddy, it's gonna be awful. Um, but like you drag it and you've got to carry it, it's horrible, you're like, it's going to be, it's not going to be ideal, whereas this is pretty good. Um, and yeah, I borrowed, I borrowed someone's bag like the first year and it was like their second hand bag and it wasn't, it was like a really cheap one. And it makes a big difference, you get like these fancy little straps on them uh, and then you can tie it around your waist like a proper camping nerd, which is great because you look ridiculous but you are really comfortable. Yeah. They've also got loads and loads of pockets, so we have, this one's yours. Um, this one's slightly smaller and this is bigger because obviously, obviously because I'm a girl, I need more stuff. She definitely takes way too many clothes. I think I take a lot and I pack out this entire bag, which is still 50 litres, which is quite big. But yeah, you take a lot of stuff. Yeah, but I take five days of outfits plus backups because I have fallen for pouring an entire pint over myself. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So yeah, I take lots of outfits, but uh, this year I have to half fill it because I don't think I can carry this side this is like the size of my whole body yeah it's pretty big um but they're really good because they've got pockets everywhere they've got like the bit at the bottom where you can stick your wellies in if you're gonna bring them if it is raining and you want to carry them separate your stuff that's separate so that's really good um and yeah like because they're so deep they're never if they did check your bag i guess they're never gonna dig all the way through they, to find um, your bag. and uh i can't remember i think i got mine one i think i got this one for literally like 30 quid I can't remember how much yours was. This was like 25, 30 that. quid. So I do recommend spending the money because I went for years with just a backpack. And that, you, yeah. you, it's just not good to carry stuff in. And I feel like these, even though they look like overkill, they're actually not because you can just load them full of stuff. And like I said, if you go to like Go Outdoor, actually Go Outdoors is quite expensive. If you go to um, Sports Direct, which is where things are a bit cheaper, you can pick these up from there. What is on Amazon? I think this was from Amazon. But the other good thing about it is that they've got like... I don't know where you put yours. I feel like I put mine at the bottom. But you've got like this area where the stuff happens. The stuff happens? This is the magic oh, you put yours on there, don't you? Yeah, I think, yeah. although this doesn't fit. Um, yeah, you've got like little things, so you can tie it to the bottom so you don't have to carry it separate or there's these like weird elastic things, who knows what they're yeah, for. Yeah, I always actually, tie I always tie mine, this t these top bits that you'll see on top of the, um, the string bits on top of the bags, I always, you can put your sleeping bag at the top so you don't have to carry it separately. It's just part of your bag. So you can literally just stick it in that part and it will just sit on top of your bag when it's full. And uh, I've been doing that for years now because it's just so much easier than having an extra thing to carry. The other thing you can get for them actually, because obviously if it's pouring with rain when you're carrying all your stuff in, your sleeping bag is going to get soaked. But to be honest, you are and everything you own is going to get soaked. You can buy those um, covers. For oh these, yeah, the like covers. Waterproof yeah. rain covers that you just like they're elasticators or something you stick them over the bag we don't have them so i don't know how good they <laughs> we might need them this year who knows so yeah bring a bag beds uh block beds air beds whatever you want to refer to them as uh this one is just completely out i don't know what we're going to do with it normally i roll this into a bag uh, and that goes on my trolley um which i'll show you guys the trolley at the end because i've got to bring it all the way in but um but yeah, definitely recommend a blow-up bed, whether it be a double or a single. If you're staying by yourself, single's fine, unless you're completely used to a double bed. Uh, and then if you've got the room for it, obviously, in your tent, then yeah, go with a double. But um, I would never go to a festival without one of these now. I've slept on the roll-out mats before. I've slept on the floor before. Um, and I had people comment on my videos before to say, oh, it's fine. Uh, if it's fine for you, go for it. It's definitely not fine for me. So we always bring um, a blow-up bed because it would be horrible, wouldn't it, without one of these? 
They are quite heavy though, so, and like obviously as soon as you've taken it out of the packet, you get this that you have to carry. So you can buy those at the camping place at the festival as well. I don't, we've never bought one there. I think they inflate them for you as well. Yeah, so they that's do. That's kind of fun. Yeah. But um, again, if you don't, we look like, I don't know. I don't know why we, why do we buy the duvet and not that? I don't know. This probably doesn't, we should probably do it the other way around. <laughs> we the probably should. It's probably much lighter. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to be bringing this so I don't have to pay for another one while I'm there because it's all about cost savings at the moment so yes blark bed um that's what we will be bringing but i recommend that you guys do as well so um talking of the beds we always bring this inflation device um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just saying. inflation device uh yeah we always bring this pump uh it's electric it's got batteries in it it lasts quite a while doesn't it i don't think i've changed the batteries for a couple of years because you're only using it to blow up like we've blown up the bed here a few times and we've blown it up in the tents but it doesn't take much of the battery. I think they're the same batteries from like 2022. And as long as it doesn't accidentally turn on, I think you're fine. Yeah. And you can use it like every night because what we like, you blow it up on the first day and obviously it goes down a bit. So you just, especially when it's hot, because they get all hot and melty. It's true. So, um, yeah, we blow it up every night and it still lasts. And also you're very popular amongst the camp because everyone wants them. Yes. So, huh? Now, a chair, uh, which we'll be bringing... Uh, one each of this one is Victoria's. Which one is this? Uh, it's just padded camp chair. But um, oh, yeah, I like it to be comfortable. You do like it to I be comfortable. Like it to be um, but yes, obviously one of these essential. Um, personally, I would recommend not going with the really cheap ones. Although um, I did have a one that lasted me all the way from download twenty sixteen right up to download twenty twenty two. I think is when I bought a new one. So they can last, but the cheaper ones. If you sit down too quickly or if you even if you stand on the chair the chair's done or um you know they, they they can easily break basically so i would recommend going a little bit above that i think the cheap chairs are like 20 quid if you spend between 25 and 30 quid you could probably get yourself one of these decent ones that the bars are much thicker and it's probably less likely to break although vicky somehow managed to break a very expensive chair by standing on it um, and she was very upset about it. So don't stand on the chairs, even if it's for a second and you don't even weigh that much because it takes literally nothing for these chairs to break. Uh, but again, I would recommend getting a half decent one and it will probably last you for five or six years going to festivals. So yeah, definitely pick up a decent chair. This is another thing that will make you quite popular at the campsite. Uh, this clearly has been around for many decades it's an old one. who knows where simon got this from um but it's really good it's very sturdy uh and everyone it always gets passed around it's really good for tent pegs um i guess you could bring like a normal hammer i don't know do people do that no you don't want to get, don't don't bring in don't listen to, don't bring a normal hammer in because you will be probably arrested and will have it taken off of you mallets however wow. on a really really hot day um especially with the ground at these places not being great it's really really difficult to try and push these like 10 pegs into the ground so having one of these is like amazing but on that note i guess like someone always has one so like if you don't bring one someone will have one and probably let you borrow it so i'm not letting anyone borrow it this essential. year no one's borrowing it if you don't this goes out to anyone that's watching this that's camping with uh with us at download you're not borrowing it i've had enough that's it it's off the table so cool. if you don't bring one yourself you're not using mine <laughs> Torches and lanterns. Um, now, I consider these to be very important. Um, I'm sure that everyone would bring them, um, but obviously some people prefer the like land. I know, sorry, the batteries have run out. But yeah, some people prefer just having the lanterns because you can hang them up actually in the tent and they are quite handy. And look cool when you go to the toilet. They like do look the, cool, the yeah. 1800s. Yeah, so uh, lanterns are good for lighting the way, but I do always tend to bring torches with me as well because they're just easier when you're outside the tent and uh, normally you've got these hanging up inside. And obviously if Vicky's in the tent and I need to go out somewhere, um, I've got one of these bad boys and they always help just to look for like tent lines that you're going to trip over, which always happens. Uh, for your ladies, probably good to make sure that you're safe when you go to the toilet. Not that you're going to be unsafe at download, but it just makes some people feel better um, when they've got light up in dark areas. Because if you're not near a lighting source or you're not near any walkways, it can actually get really, really dark at download. Um, apart from the big boys, this is quite a nice posh one, which we managed to get. You can get the ones that I've been using for years at download, which are the cheap, pretty much Poundland ones. The uh, tiny little AA battery ones. They're actually really good and quite bright depends on the amount of LEDs that are in them. So I recommend any of these, even if you want to get a cheap ones or the more expensive, they will always help. And there's nothing worse than being in your tent in the evening 
and not being able to see to get to all your stuff because it's you know not in an order that it would normally be in your house. So yes, highly recommended and uh, we will be bringing pretty much all of these. So we also uh, always bring drugs, um, but the good kind. Uh, the others could be the good kind as well, depending on what <laughs> yeah, you're doing. Yeah, it really depends on what, yeah. what area you're in. Um, so we have this new, new for 2024 pouch to keep them in. I don't know what we used to keep them in. But we've got all sorts of stuff. So just like normal things like paracetamol, ibuprofen. But then we've got festival goodness like Barocca. These are super weird because they make your pee neon. However, um, they're just full of like loads of vitamins when you dissolve them in water. And then they fizz, which is always kind of fun. But also... They taste uh, really good as well, I think. I think, you, that I think, one, I think the orange really ones taste really good. They smell really good as well. They probably don't. They're quite a few years old. No, they don't smell great. But they, but they taste good in the drink. <laughs> they taste good, but also they got so many vitamins in. They're really good for a hangover. Like you, like I use them. Well, I'm not going to use them this year, but use them in the morning to like boost your energy before you go anywhere. Um, plasters and stuff for blisters, whatever. Um, hay fever tablets are really good to have in here. We've also got suntan lotion, which we haven't bought yet because I think we ran out last year. Yeah, but we haven't bought that. This is a really good one if you want to wear makeup. So I don't know where I got this from. I think it's from Boots, but. It wasn't super expensive. You can get some really expensive ones, but this one's like an aerosol spray that you can spray over your makeup um, so you don't have to rub it all off, which is super annoying. What else do we take? Uh, Rennies are probably one of the most uh, important things. Well, for me personally, and for people obviously of a certain age, you get really, really bad acid reflux if you've been drinking all weekend. But I used to get it even in my 20s. I used to get it drinking, you know, you're drinking. I was only eating like noodles and like you're drinking all weekend every day. You wake up in the morning and you feel like crap. So I really feel like Rennie's or any type of um, uh, antacid um, are really, really good. And you should definitely bring them. Well, else are we missing They're good. And um, we also sometimes bring uh, the the hydration sachet things. Yes. I don't know. Can I use brand names? Yeah, it's not a sponsor. <laughs> Diarolite, not a sponsor. <laughs> but like, get the cheap ones because they're more expensive, but those ones, they're like rehydration sachets. So you can drink them in the morning and you'll feel loads better after a hangover as well. Yeah, rehydration ones I really do mm -hmm. recommend. If you're really, really hungover, uh, make sure you have one of those rehydration um, sachets because they're designed for people that have had like really bad stomach bugs and have lost loads of fluids. And it sort of replenishes all of your electrolytes and loads of nutrients and stuff as well. So yeah. They're really, really good. But yeah, basically bring all the drugs, the good kind, or the bad kind. And that's it. How about that? Physically possible. How about that? <coughs> Portable chargers are another thing that we bring quite a few of. I think over there on the other side of the room, there's another like three or four of these. Uh, like I said in the other video before, um, some people tend to bring just the giant ones, so you don't need to bring those little units. But I think because we both had our own, um, and then obviously we started living together. We just ended up with loads and loads of small ones uh, that we bought over the years. So yeah, definitely bring these to charge your devices. Obviously, if you're vlogging, you don't want to keep your camera fully charged or your phone fully charged, or if you're playing music, you're gonna want to keep it fully charged. Photos, whatever. So yeah, highly recommend getting these. You can pick them up for not much at all these days. I think a really really decent one, like one of these big boys, would cost you like what twenty quid now. Not even that much. Yeah, we can get so, the cheap ones. Or you can get the really, really cheap. cheap ones and just get loads of them. So yeah, highly recommended. We'll, we're bringing loads of the little boys uh, just to make sure everything's charged. So another thing that we take are mirrors. We each have our own mirrors. Um, this one's quite a good one because you can see big side and small side. That's my one. I like to look at all of the horrific details on my face. Of course, it's because he's a bit older, so he needs the needs the big side to see. Dread. <laughs> um, and then I just take this one, but like it literally doesn't matter. I had one that I took before, but the only thing to think about with mirrors is that you're not allowed glass at all, and mirrors are glass. And I didn't realize this until I don't know two years ago when they confiscated my mirror at the check-in station. And um, so with the bags with the pockets, I was thinking that I was being really sensible. I'd always like dumped it somewhere in the middle of my bag before, and I can never find it. So I put it in like one of the side pockets, and they obviously do check the side pockets, and they're like, "Well, obviously you can't take this." So I got that confiscated, which was annoying, which is why I bought this one. And so now what I do is just like wrap it up in a towel or something right in the middle of the bag, just so they. Can you say this on the internet? <laughs> yeah, <it's> just... <laughs> I mean, I think it's totally fine for someone to sneak it. No, I say sneak in. I think it's fine for people to bring in mirrors. Like, I don't yeah. see that as a problem. Uh, bringing in glass knowingly is okay. But I think bringing in a mirror, even though technically it is glass, 
you're using it for a specific purpose. No so I feel like that's like, fine. Smash their mirror to stab someone with it. Hopefully you know? not. But I mean, just not. yeah, just make sure from Vicky's tip that you put them in your bag in a place where they're not going to search because obviously you're not planning to use that to hurt anyone but they will still consider a mirror glass so just make sure you put it in the right part of your bag so you're not searched. Now obviously not being an essential thing but I always bring a speaker I like to be that sort of person that's in charge of the music uh, there's a one in every group so I always bring um, something to play it off like a phone or something like that spare from your normal one so you can just play music through it um, and a speaker um, this one says W King, which is quite close to something else, um, but it's a really, really good speaker. Although the battery is not half as good as the Anchor Sound Core that I had, but unfortunately that one's considerably smaller. doesn't have the oomph that this one has, but this one doesn't have as much of a good battery. So again, it's a good cause to bring your portable chargers to make sure that you keep your speaker charged so you can listen to tunes. You've got to think of it at download. If you're just staying at the camp for the Thursday, um, sorry, the Wednesday and Thursday, there is loads of time there where you're just chilling. So you're going to want some tunes. Well, we certainly do anyway. So uh, yeah, not an essential, but we are definitely bringing the speaker. So um, we've got a bunch of toiletries that we bring, but there are some specific stuff that I bring as a girl. Obviously, like you don't have to bring this stuff but things that i found really helpful over the years are these are weird zebedee hairbands um invisible things they're really good so we did this in last year's video the pineapple we can't do it this year because simon doesn't have the hair for it anymore and i don't want to do it with my own hair but if you want to see the pineapple you can watch last year's video but basically you get your hair you tie it like so at the end of every day before you go to bed brush it is always a good thing to do first before you sleep on it otherwise that makes it way worse um obviously if you've got long hair if you've got short hair it's fine um brush it put it up like right on the top of your head with this hairband and then i've got a bunch of these little like bulldog clip things that i just tie like the long bit around so that when you sleep on it you don't mess it up and it'll just last longer it'll still be full of dust and like gross by the end but i don't like i've had shower passes before and it's not for me worth it queuing so this year i'm just gonna go five days without washing my hair then other stuff, oh, this one's really important actually to me, maybe not to everyone, but I hate having to walk to the toilets from the tent, especially first thing in the morning when you wake up and you really, really need a wee bit, you don't want to walk miles, you don't have to put clothes on, think about what you're going to wear, just want to get out and pee. And if you've got a, like, a tent that's got a porch, you can do this. Anyway, I've misplaced mine, but basically, I don't know if the internet can see this, but this is the thing that I have, it's literally, it's not called a shiwi, but it'll come up if you Google shiwi. But it's basically a shiwi that you can, like a funnel that you can pee into, and it goes into a bottle, um, which is super gross. And it's quite, it's got quite a large capacity. And I will say that you do not want to fill it up for five days and then pour it out at the end because that's disgusting. I know from experience. Um, but you can get those. You can also get off Amazon the ones with the gel crystals in. They're there also good, but that, like, you obviously they're just disposable. You've got to chuck them away afterwards. And also maybe for this year I might get an actual shiwi that you can like pee into the cubicles with. Uh, so we have wet wipes, which obviously are super important to keep yourself clean, keep your genitalia clean, keep your body clean. You can use them to um, wipe stuff off if it's really muddy. You can use them to clean your tent, clean anything. They are literally one of the most important things, I would say, for someone to bring to a festival. So baby wipes or face wipes or any of the sort of variants of them that you can bring. Um, extra toilet paper as well, as I've explained in the last video. There's not always toilet paper in the toilet, so I would always recommend bringing a couple of rolls of toilet paper, especially if you're a duo and there's two of you. Um, last time I did say to you guys about the, guys about the miniatures, uh, now these do save space, like I like obviously to be fresh in the breath, so um, I like to have some toothpaste with me and some mouthwash and it's really handy not to have to bring the giant versions of these but to bring the small ones and you can get loads of other stuff like deodorants, moisturisers, uh, shampoo, conditioner, all in the little bottles, so these save space and just saves you carrying a load of stuff basically. The other stuff that we bring. Oh, so I always bring a lip balm because, especially if it's dry, even when it's wet though, like I wake up in the morning and if you've been drinking the night before, you've got lips like an actual desert. So like Carmex is really good. You can use brand names, so Carmex, really good. Really good, I don't know, it feels like it goes into your lips or something, but there's obviously loads of other great ones, but that's a really good one. Um, then for like makeup wise, again, girls or boys, I guess, but um, if you want it to last all day, like get a really good setting spray. I use this like Urban Decay one, which is amazing, but I don't wear like 
I'm not like full goth, so I haven't got any of the great like goth makeup, so I don't need it to stay like super. But I have seen people say that if you do have that, there's a, I, don't, I can't remember what brand it is because again, I don't use it, but um, it's a setting spray for drag makeup. So you look into that because that will be really good for that and then it will last all day and you don't have to worry about topping up because that's annoying. And also to end this little piece, we have some uh, sun spray or suntan oil or sun lotion, whatever you want to call it and after sun. Now, this I do obviously highly recommend, especially if it's a hot year at download. Like I've said, there is nowhere to hide from the elements when you're at download. This is really important. You need to save your skin. You won't realize until later in life how important it is to actually do that. So make sure you get it on. Now the after sun for me is a must because I suffer really bad with heat rash and this really calms my skin down if I've been in the sun all day. Um, and also helps if you get burnt and you put this on, it won't be half as bad the next day. Plus it feels really, really nice and smells great because it's aloe vera. So definitely recommend that. And uh, obviously if you do suffer with the heat, I do recommend bringing after sun because I feel like that will really, really help your skin out. So another thing that I think is kind of essential and definitely will be taking is a bum bag, which I used to think was really, really lame, but actually I think it's pretty stylish these days. So um, this one's Simon's, but I, I've got one basically the same, just a little bum bag. You can get them all over the place, they're super cheap and they don't even have to be cool. Better in black because they go with everything. Um, I've also got a mini backpack for other outfits. Um, it's like a Vans mini backpack. I've never seen any other mini backpacks, but they'll definitely be out there. Um, and they probably still make these ones, but they're really good, um, super small. Anyway, so we take these with us. Uh, what I tend to do is put loads of extra toilet roll in them because you know that there's, it's going to run out in the portiers. Although I feel like last year they were quite good with the toilet roll, to be honest. But always best to have it. Um, so I'll just literally like take off a bunch of toilet roll and put it in the bag. Also, um, always put in the um, antibacterial hand gel because it's that always idea. runs out as well. And then also idea. if you touch something or someone gross whilst you're out, you can uh, use that. <laughs> so those are like I don't take a lot in with me to be honest I take those two things are like essential I'll take my phone and then I will also like if we're going in the evening I will also take like light layers because if you're going to go from afternoon and it's hot up until the evening you're going to get freezing so I'll wear like my normal outfit then I'll take like tiny little not tiny but like thin light little like a layer or something like a cropped long sleeve layer in the bag because you can wedge stuff into these so wedge like as many of those in here as you can tie like a jumper and a hoodie around your waist and then you can just put them on like throughout the evening and you don't feel like you're carrying loads and having to have like a bag full of jumpers or whatever so you can also fit stuff like that in here yeah also i recommend it's good to keep your small portable chargers in there your phone if you're going to go into pits or you know get a little bit more sort of involved with the music. These are really good because you're not gonna have stuff dropping out your pocket. So normally I'd stick my phone in there, my portable charger, because my phone might run out of battery if I'm in the arena all day. And I feel like these are really, really good for keeping those things in one place. Obviously in front of you, you can see it. You know no one's gonna try and pinch anything from it because it's right on the front. So I think for security and just keeping all your stuff, I mean, bum bags are amazing pretty much. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna talk about food and drink stuff. I mean, um, you know, drink wise, obviously I will be drinking this year. Of course, Vicky won't. Um, I've got some Subrovska vodka and some Jack Daniels that I'll be bringing. Mixers, I will be buying from the co-op when I'm there. I won't be carrying any of those mixers because it's just so much to carry. Can't involve it anymore when I can get it all there. Same for beers. I might bring three or four beers with me. It's free. Where do they sell free beers? Four beers <laughs> with me. Um, like, can I have three beers, mate? No, do you know what? I'm all right for the other one. Cheers. Uh, so I'm probably going to bring like a pack of four or maybe six or eight. I don't know how many. Just to drink sort of, um, you know, when I get there as a little celebratory drink uh, or whatever. But I always do. I used to say to people, put them into um, plastic bottles when you get your alcohol. But over the years, I sort of adapted to go to these more, these sort of just water bottles or water carriers. I feel like these, obviously, you can reuse them over and over again each year. So I feel like these are better than obviously wasting water bottles and obviously plastic, which we don't want to do. So recommend these sort of like tin ones um, or even just a water bottle that you would take to the gym. You could just fill that with, you know, whatever booze you were taking. Um, and I feel like they're a really, really good solution towards that. And when you go to the gym, it's going to taste like, like your water's going to taste like Jack Perfect. Daniels. Perfect. Well, so I obviously can't drink um, this year, which I'm not that worried about. Like, I think we're fine. I've done one festival. I did the pilot sober and that, I mean, it was different because it was a lot smaller and there was only three of us, but it was fine. But I do feel left out when I can't drink. So I have just discovered 0% alcohol wine, which 
I said at the beginning, like we're like five months pregnant and I said at the beginning of this little journey that what is the point? Like if I can't drink real wine, what is the point? However, my sister brought some over the other day and it was actually really good. The first sip, disgusting, but the second sip, it does kind of taste like wine. Um, obviously there's not like loads of choice about like grapes or whatever that you want to get, but who really cares for a festival? tastes pretty good i think it's it's had alcohol in and they take the alcohol out or something which makes you feel a bit cooler um, <laughs> it <but> once <laughs> had alcohol in it so it's way cooler than that you feel a bit like better um so it's only like three pound 25 in sainsbury's you can obviously get it all over the place um and you'll have to pour it out into a plastic bottle or like one of these things um however it does taste pretty good and you do feel just like a little bit more involved and then other than that i guess i'm just gonna have to shot apple juice or something yeah i mean involved. from a from a food perspective um i will probably be doing what we done last year which is buy 99 percent of our stuff there from the co-op we might be bring, bringing a few things that we kind of prefer but we pretty much lived off of meal deals and then we just went to the trucks for dinner so i feel like we'll probably end up doing that again um i might bring a little bit more snacky stuff which i think i was missing last year uh just there to have in the tent but apart from that the co-op worked perfectly i thought it was awesome and really yeah. really great so make use of the co-op while you're there um, but that's what we're doing food and drink wise yeah so that's pretty much all the stuff that we are bringing there will be a few other things outside of this um that we might bring but i feel like if you had all of this stuff uh you would have a perfectly fine comfortable festival now obviously you don't have to bring all this stuff with you i've done download before with a lot less and still managed but we like our comforts now we like to be prepared um obviously we haven't included stuff like wellies and that in here because the weather at the moment is amazing but obviously i would recommend you bring stuff for weather you know we would bring waterproof jackets if we knew it was raining and wellies so you've really got to look at what the weather is going to be so you kind of know what to judge and what to bring but um yeah it's been great to get all the stuff we literally just got it out the loft a couple of minutes ago victoria is there anything you would like to say to the viewers no subscribe no no oh, no i didn't you tell me that before <laughs> please subscribe um yeah i mean obviously we've accumulated this stuff over a couple of years you don't have to buy it all in one go you don't need everything all at once there are some things that you'll be able to tell like what you're going to need or what you're going to want and works for you but yeah like just go and have a good time and hopefully we'll see you there yeah hopefully we'll see you there um all this stuff obviously makes it more comfortable but like i said you don't have to have any of it um and yeah but this is what we're bringing so hopefully i don't have to carry all of this stuff by myself and Vicky will be able to help, but we're still not sure what's going on with all that stuff. So thank you very much as always. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. It would massively help me out and you can see all of the cool stuff that I do here. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you dudes, you ready? In the next video. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and I shall see you dudes in the next video. You should go and subscribe to my channel because, come on, subscribe.